Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. You can see I have a brand new smart home device here. It's called the Yuhu and it is an air quality monitoring sensor. And it's actually the most complex one I think I've seen as far as residential applications go. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. I'm going to show you how to get it set up and fully working in your smart home. Now, as I get this opened up and the box is very simple, full disclosure here, I was reimbursed by Yoohoo to actually create this video here. But what I did like about this product was its ability to sense so many different contaminants in your home. Now, you do get this card right here. So this is just a little welcome or introductory card. And then you can pull the device right out of the box and you can see this is a very clean design, very little to it, and I really like how, how this looks or how this is going to look in my home. Just so you can see all the details, here's the top of the device, looks very plain, and the bottom of the device just has their nice little symbol there on it. Now there is a couple of things on the back, it looks like a factory reset right there i don't know i'm not actually into it yet and then just a usb port for power so now digging into the box a little more here looks like just a power adapter or a few items here and then we're all done just a couple more things in the box you can see your two-sided usb so this is into the device and this is into your usb power adapter now here's the power adapter you can see there's the plug-in for the usb and what i'll tell you is this is a 100 to 240 volt input so it is fully capable of all the markets basically in the world that are going to be buying this device and it's taking in 0.5 amps and then outputting at 5 volts and then 2 amps uh, power so you know overall this is ready for just about any market you just need an adapter for certain plug types now let's go ahead and get the yuhu air quality sensor set up here and really this is as simple as plugging in our device and of course USBs never go in the right way unless you're looking so there we go now I've plugged in the device and it's instantly starting up now I've got to go into the Yuhu application so you'll need to download that iOS or Android and then we're going to go through a bit of a setup process so initially they're asking me to access my location and do I want to allow them to set up or send notifications and of course with devices like this I think you do because this is monitoring a number of different things in your home now let's go ahead and sign up for an account I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back to the setup so now I've gone ahead and I've signed up and of course they're going to send a confirmation email you do have to go into your email go ahead and click the link to confirm to activate now I just want to show you and I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see this but there is a little flashing light inside the device going on here so this is as soon as i plugged it in i think it started monitoring my home so now i've gone ahead and i've put in my login information i'm just going to hit the login button here and now we're going to start the setup process and you can see right away at the top set up my first yuhu that's a very simple button to start with so connect the yuhu to power outlet wait five to ten seconds until that light that i just showed you shows up and now what it's asking me is do i want to connect it to this wi-fi uh, that my phone is connected to so that's what it's drawing from otherwise I can go to settings connect to the Wi-Fi and then come back here so I'm going to tap yes connect to this Wi-Fi and now what it wants me to do is go into the Wi-Fi and then look for the Wi-Fi settings on my device and then basically connect directly to this product. So here's my Wi-Fi settings. I go in and now I'm looking for that Yuhu network itself. Now it's, if it's not showing up here, then your light is probably not solid 
blue and you need to go ahead and reset this device. So now it did take me a reset here on the back of the device and I just used a standard paper clip that I've unwound there and just poked it in the back there and then I did have to unplug and replug my device in and then I got a solid blue light so let me show you what that looks like you saw before it was flashing in there and now it's a solid blue light and that's meant that it has shown up here in my Wi-Fi settings so I can now go back to the application and it knows it's connected and now I've gone ahead and put in my Wi-Fi password and we're just hitting connect and now it's going through the next part of the setup process and I can see a little green light in there going on. Now I did have to go through the Wi-Fi setup process a couple of times It asked me to reconnect and then try again and it, it wasn't anything difficult but I did have to go through that process a couple of times and now it's asking me now that it's connected and I think you can see it's flashing pretty aggressively at this point. I, I have to pick a region for my device so I'm choosing North America because that's where I am and now it's connecting the device to their servers essentially their cloud servers. So now that we're connected to Yoohoo's cloud services they want me to basically name the device and so I'm just going to call this Brian and we're going to go ahead and we're going to call it we're going to put it somewhere in our home. So initially, you know, I think an air quality monitor of this capability I think is going to go in a kids room. So that's what I'm going to put it in. And then what floor is it on? Well, in that case, it would be in on my first floor. And the last thing is your time zone that you can go ahead and select. So you can see I've selected mountain time zone. Now, they're basically done the setup process you can see now that throughout the process they did turn off the light they actually said that they were going to do that once it was fully set up and connected to the cloud server so that doesn't remain on all the time on the device so now we're into the dashboard and this is where I think things get really exciting with this device now they also say it basically needs 48 hours to fully warm up but it will start measuring things after two minutes now I've waited around a minute and a half to two minutes since it came on here I read a little bit about this but essentially it's monitoring nine things already so you can see the temperature the humidity the air pressure co2 VOCs which you know things like paint and, and things like that give off VOCs which we all know are not good Particulate matter at that 2.5 measurement size, so you'll see PM 2.5, PM 10 uh, on different air quality monitors. You can see carbon monoxide there, CO, and NO2, so uh, nitrogen dioxide and ozone, O3. So all of those things are being monitored by the Yuhu right now. As you swipe over to the left now, you can see some insights that they will give you over time. So if they're noticing things throughout the day or they're noticing spikes at certain times, they're going to let you know they're in your insights section. There are other parts of the app like the ability to manage everything by that menu up in the top left. So now as you add additional devices, you can see that you're going to be able to manage those and you have notification settings. So what do you want to be notified on? For me, I kind of manage the humidity in my home, so I don't really need to know about that. I have other temperature sensors in my home as well, but in general, I want to hear about all of these other different concerns throughout my home. So I'm going to leave those notifications on and they're coming to this phone. There's nothing I've set up in terms of a text message or anything like that, but it is a push notification at this point. Inside the menu as well is the sensor units function. So this is just telling you what units they're measuring in. There's nothing you can go and do here. You can't adjust them as far as I can tell. Now there's basically a few more parts to this application that I wanna show you. First off, you can go into some information about the different sensors. So for example, we talked about PM 2.5 and you know, lots of people need to understand or want to understand what that even means. It tells you in here 2.5 micrometers is the uh, the size basically that they're looking for in a particulate before they measure it so that's what the device is measuring how many particulates it's finding now there's also the integrate 
section which we're going to go into towards the end of the video here but what I want to show you first is just what's native in this application in terms of its capability of showing you really detailed information and this is part of that cloud capability and why you connect to the cloud with these devices now you can see that I just went in up at the top actually I'll go do that again so you know you can see right here you just tap on that and it's basically a tiles type of icon and then you can tap on your summary page and this is what you're seeing on the home page now up in the top right you can go ahead and you can edit that you can edit the different sensors and you can put ranges for what's good what's bad and you can see how you can actually move those things so if I wanted to move and have more of a tighter line for say carbon monoxide I could actually do that and it would give me red at whatever level I'd like so that allows you to adjust your own personal sensitivity to certain things in your home the other thing you can do is you can switch to this format which I like quite a bit as well but I'm going to leave it here because it gives a nice visual for how far along my line I am. Now, here's the other thing. So here's that insights page again, and now there's the chart. And this allows you to look hour, day, week, month, and it allows you to filter by your different issues. So carbon monoxide, you can actually watch on a chart as it adjusts throughout your home, and you're going to be able to you know target certain sources as a result of that in terms of sharing you can go ahead and add additional users and all it is is by email so go ahead add that in they'll get an email and you're going to be able to have them add this sensor in basically from their phone or tablet as well now right here if you did like that other tile section or just basically the different look there you go you can switch just back and forth right here now as I said back up in that menu of course you can edit your profile but let's go through the integration process for integrating with some other smart home tools so for example Amazon and the if this then that capability so I'm going to tap on the Amazon side of things and it's going to take me right over to my Amazon voice assistant application of course I won't say that name but it's taking me right in there and now it's giving me the opportunity to enable you who right away so this is the skill for this device now after that we'll have to discover my devices and it will allow me to ask for the different levels throughout my home so I'm going to tap enable to use and this is all it has to do I have to go ahead and put in my credentials for you who that I just created so now that I've done that, they're basically asking me to authorize the sharing of information between these two devices, and now the two services are connected. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and utilize our new Echo Show second generation here. You're going to see some of these videos showing up on the channel. Let's utilize this to ask for a quick summary. Open the YooHoo skill. Hello, you can say, ask you who for a summary, or ask you who for my carbon dioxide. Ask you who for my carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is 753.0 parts per million. The other thing that you who can integrate with is if this then that so that's ifttt.com and it's easiest to find services like this by searching in the top bar so I'm just going to search for you who and then I'm going to click on services and go to you who here now what you'll find on this page for yourself if you haven't already done it is the connect button will show up here once you click that you just have to put in your credentials for your you who application or your you who device that you already set up in the application now down below are some pre-created applets and you know there's really good applications here so start my iRobot vacuum when the dust level gets high or start a classic air purifier this is called a blue air and we can turn on switches so if your Wemo switch or a smart thing switch or any type of switch that's on if this then that 
you just have to turn that on if it's attached to, say, another air purifier that just turns on when it gets power. Of course, you could give yourself a visual or auditory notification through, you know, something like Philips Hue and or Ye Light or Samsung Smart Things, which I'll so show you in a second here. Now, the Yoohoo triggers and actions. This is what's possible in If This Then That. And really, the only thing you can do is trigger a sensor alert. So once a target sensor threshold is breached or passed, then you can go ahead and create an action with another service. So let me show you what that looks like. Up at the top of if this then that, we hit the new applet option. And if this, and we're going to search for again, Yoohoo, then we're going to choose the sensor alert. And now you can pick which Yoohoo sensor you want and then which part of the sensor. So I'll choose dust and you get to pick your own threshold. This will be different than what's in the application right now. And you can choose 100, and then you can choose above or below. And of course, below only makes sense with certain types of sensors, so say temperature or humidity or air pressure. You could go ahead and put a trigger of below there if you wanted, or you could use below to actually turn off your device as a second if this then that applet. Now, you hit create trigger, and now you have to choose that outside service. So. For example, you can go ahead and utilize Samsung Smart Things, which I already have connected. You could turn on, off devices. You can activate a siren or a strobe if you have one in your home. Of course, we already saw the Wemo Smart Plug, and you can see they also have an air purifier as well. So all of these different services are available. Now, SMS is a great application, I think. You can just send an SMS with uh, whatever message message you'd like and you could add additional uh, uh, ingredients if you'd like but then you just create the action and once it's done doing that action it goes ahead and it sends you an SMS now you have to hit finish down at the bottom here but once you do that that is now active and it will send you a text message when you exceed Dust PM 2.5. All right, well, there you go. We're all integrated here with Amazon's voice assistant. We're also integrated with If This Then That, and this device is monitoring my home and tracking the data over time, giving me notifications as things exceed levels that I want. So I think it's a very interesting device. I love that I have an air quality sensor in my home and I'm looking forward to utilizing this as we go forward. So guys, what do you think? What questions do you have? Go ahead and leave them in the comments below and of course, we'll see you next time.